All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of All About Life. In today's segment, we got our boy. YouTube. You already know who it is. It's your boy. This is Jay. Let's run up the numbers. Let's get it. You already know. So, in today's hot topic, we are going to be taking a tour of the fight against masculinity. Okay? Now, this is a hot topic because we see a lot of women these days, they're chopping down masculinity. Right? A lot of women and a lot of guys, sadly. Yeah, sad sadly. To say, sad to say. Men, you're, you're, you're going up against ourselves. We're, we're, we're literally taking down one another instead of uplifting. Women uplift one another. Why are you guys not uplifting each other? Why? Why do you Don't think make, that is, Jonathan? It's like you said, they're trying to appeal to the woman. They think they're going to win her over by, by doing that, by going against other men. Have y'all been successful? Have y'all been getting pussy that we don't know about? And little do they know that makes them look weak. Yeah. Because they are weak. And behavior, come on, it's, it's weak behavior. You know, and the truth of the matter is, is that masculinity is the balance for femininity. Mm -hmm. We already have femininity out there. Women are supposed to embody the feminine. You as a man are supposed to embody the masculine. That's the balance. Yin and yang, have you ever heard of it? Yep. Well, if you haven't, that's what it is. It's balance, it's harmony between the two sexes, right? 100%. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the first point of this video. The rays of extreme feminism. This is something that has been going on, forget it, since what, the 70s, 60s? Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, it was, <laughs> to my understanding, it was a fight for equality. For equality, for the right to vote, for like different things. Right the to right to work. Yeah, same wages. Equal wages, mm -hmm. okay, for equal work. Yeah. So women of yesteryears, they were trying to get treated fairly. But now, what do you think feminism is all about now? It's about being above men. They want to be better than men. Before, it used to be a fight for equality, for like getting the same benefits. But now they want to be above men. They want to feel like they on top of men. Which is crazy. Because last time I checked, that's not equality. Also, a lot of women are mistakenly using feminism. What they, what they really mean is... A misandrist, all right? You know how we have toxic masculinity and we have all these bad alpha traits? We got misogyny and now that's the, 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 the counterpart to it. Exactly. So a lot of women today are not fighting for feminism. They're not feminists. They are misandrists, mm -hmm. which is essentially the hatred for men, specifically masculinity mm -hmm. in men. Yep, yeah. 100%. All the masculine traits are being... Demonize. Yeah, Demonize. You're, you're toxic if you show any masculinity. In fact, I want you guys to see this right now. Tell me through these text messages, what does that look like? Because it's insane. This girl is appalled that she is surrounded by men that have masculine alpha traits. Guys, it's gotten to the point where it's, it's so disgusting that you can't even have standards for your woman. That's considered toxic. You have st simple standards for your woman, how you want your woman to behave and how you want your woman to basically be a part of your life. That's, that's fucking misogyny. And this it's is borderline disgusting. The, the new way of thinking, you know? Which is up to our second point where we talk about women demonizing masculinity and alpha-like traits, okay? What's going on is, is that women are essentially saying, hey, it, with them using feminism, we want not only equality, but we want superiority in what we want, we're going to get. So they still want you to do all these traditional things for them. They still want to, when you go out on a date, who's paying? The man. Okay. When you guys are, are, are discussing uh, bills and when it comes down to payments of said bills, who's paying? The man. It's like Ant was saying, they want men to have the traditional roles, but they don't want their traditional roles to be upheld. So they want to just basically be equal when it, when it serves them and be inferior when it serves them as well. Yeah. So it's the best of both worlds. They get exactly what they want without giving you what you need as a man. And guess what? Like Jonathan said, if you require and have standards, that's toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these women have this saying, talking about I'm feminine to the right man. Would, would, it, feel, would it feel weird if a guy told you I'm masculine to the right woman? Of course it does. Because it's fucking, it's naturally in the guy. He's not going to choose when to be masculine and when to not, when to not be. So that's... It's either you are or you're not. Mm -hmm. Same way as a woman. It's either you are or you're not. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these women who are giving you this bullshit, men, 
When they're telling you, oh, I'm only feminine for the right man, translation, she's not feminine, period. She has more masculinity in her body that is not allowing her to get relationships, prosperous relationships. Because like I said earlier in this video, yin and yang, yeah. masculine, feminine. But when a woman is operating in her masculinity, guess what? Now the only thing that can balance her out is a feminine man. Mm -hmm. It's not a masculine man. It won't work. That's where you get the butting of heads. You're fighting power to power when you have two people operating on the same wavelength, the, the same energy. The main problem that Anthony brought up, she's not attracted to the feminine men. She sabotages men to be feminine, but she's not attracted to feminine men. So there's always going to be a constant clash between those type of people. She's not truly attracted to the feminine men in her core. She'll lie all day tell you that she is because she's trying to take advantage of certain men, but she's really not. And I can't blame her because you're acting feminine. Yeah, that is 100% true. And not only that, but leading up to our third point. Society deems it acceptable for women to disrespect men as a gender. So any any post when they talk about many shit, many this, many that, if you ain't paying your rent, then you don't deserve this. If, <laughs> fucking crazy. if he's not taking you out on fucking five-star restaurants, then he doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve submission. Like, they put a fucking requirement for the submission. And it's like, you can't have it that way. A requirement for a natural behavior, or, by the way. Or my favorite one, a real man will do this. Something that doesn't benefit the man. Something that involves a man investing way too much that they deserve at that point in the relationship. A real man should take you out on vacation on the first day or some ridiculous shit like that. So at the detriment of a man, that's what they call a real man. Because they want to take advantage of men. And mind you, this doesn't apply to the men that they're sexually attracted to. So everything that we're talking about is talking about men, men as a whole. But when we start to talk about specific guys, no. The, the woman that is interested in you sexually, oh, she'll fuck with you. So guys, in other words, we're talking about the majority, not the minority. Yeah, the minority escape all this bullshit. And what I mean by escape it is as long as the man is not trying to jump into a relationship with these type of women... Then they're fine because they get free access to the best part of this of these types of women, yep. and that's just the sex. Let's be real. Some women, especially the women that are following these guidelines that we just brought up, mm -hmm. you're just good for pussy. You have no good personality. You're not looking for prosperous relationships. You're looking to dominate men because you have a hatred towards men. Mm -hmm. Yep. You want to see what you can get out of a man before you even meet him. So you're not that attracted to a man, but yet you agree to go out on a date with him. So you're trying to see what restaurant he takes you to, what car he picks you up in, how much income is he making before you even meet up with him. And even when you do meet up with them, it's very dry. It's like, well, where are you taking me? It's oh, very transactional. Yeah, very transactional. And guess what? It's transactional, but you're not giving anything. That's damn near Robin. That's not even transactional. Yeah. Transactional is simply when you exchange one good for the next good. And you order a plate, you order a to-go plate as well. Because yeah. the food was so good. So yep. good. <laughs> but you didn't want the man that was attached yeah. to that food. Yep. Bring it to, to your other nigga. Yep. That's the same. Your side nigga. Because <laughs> most women have side pieces. Mm -hmm. Those are the only niggas that they actually fuck. And guess what? They don't give the stress to those side niggas. Yep. Those side niggas are only... Per their purpose look good and they're dick. Mm -hmm. They're basically operating like men. Mm -hmm. Because that's how a lot of men operate. They're more masculine than, than men in society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is why they're trying to feminize this society because they're the ones trying to use their own masculinity. Mm -hmm. They're trying to bring up the masculinity so that they can interact the way they want to without having any, any power struggle. But guess what that does? That destroys society in a whole. That destroys society. Our society is... That's why less destroyed. babies are being um, born, less families are being made. If you guys know, you should look it up. Google it. I definitely implore you to do so. A lot of men are going through depression. And depression causes testosterone levels to go down. Mm -hmm. Substantially. Men that are 40 years old are having very low t tests in their body that is not allowing them to procreate. And guess what? If men are not able to procreate, that's going to be less... Exactly. Come on. And one more thing to the point. Let's add this up. There's a lot of single men out there. Like, there's single women, but there's a lot of men that are going their own way. They're like, it's so stressful for me that I've been taking advantage so much that I'm, I'm just going to go my own way. I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to forget about women, and I'm going to go monk mode. A lot of guys be doing that. So now they're just following their hobbies, their dreams, their careers, but they're not following women. And I've said this before on this channel, and so have many other content creators. We need each other. Mm -hmm. Men need women. Women need men. This whole idea of people going their own way is not serving society. Moreover, if we don't get our shit together, 
we're gonna have a decrease in the population, in the human population for that. Yep, 100%, the numbers are dropping. Just check out the stats, Google it like I said. Yeah, we're, we're having less babies, less marriages, more divorce rates. I mean, what do you think feminism is truly doing? I think they're essentially- Destroying society. Yeah. Destroying society. The fight against masculinity is real. And you know, it's sad because as you saw in the text messages that I displayed earlier on the screen, you can see that this is just one woman out of many that have this mindset. They're repulsed against masculine and alpha men, not realizing that we're the backbone of this country. We're the ones who set up the foundation of this country. Women would not be protected in the manner they are without these masculine the alpha the, the, the hardest men. Hour, we the ones working the hardest hours. We never really take a break because we want to support for our family. We want to provide. Our natural instinct is to provide and protect. So. Now you want to even take that away from us. And it's like, like you said, it's not fair. Nobody's in their, in their natural place. So that's why the dysfunction of society is at an all time high. The chaos is at an all time high. And it's getting out of hand. It is. But anyways, guys, I want you to leave your feedback in the comment section below. Tell us your experiences that you have been dealing with women. What kind of things that have you went through? I mean, let's be real. A lot of men are dealing with these types of women that we just talked about. Yep. There's a lot of these types of women out there. So you know if you're dealing with them. Also, we didn't mention a lot of things like um, females that are not like avoiding, that are avoiding their baby daddy to see their kids and using them as a weapon. Because oh, they, yeah, they, that's know the, they know the guy cares about the kid. Yeah. It's not like a deadbeat, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of abuse, you know, which is emasculating our men of today's society, you know? But anyways, guys, let us know your experiences. Uh, if you if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs you know, up. If you enjoyed it, we can make a part two because we could go on and on about this topic. Eh? No, oh, absolutely, absolutely. We only we're only scratching the surface to be honest. But anyways, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. It will greatly help. And as always, this channel is all about you. Catch you guys on the next video.